Greetings from the Emerald Isle, whiskey lovers. My name's Al, and this is Whiskey Street. What's up, whiskey lovers? I'm Al, and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Street. Today, I have a special review for you. A really exclusive and special one. Now, think of a premium Irish whiskey that just oozes class and quality. Now for me that would be Middleton. Yes, that's class, that's quality, but it does come at a price. But it's quality and class nonetheless. Now, Middleton's latest stunner is the 1991 single cask. A single pot still distillate made from malted and unmalted barley. Now it's been put through the Middleton copper pot stills three times and then left for 26 years. Yes, you did hear me right. 26 long years to mature in a first filled bourbon barrel. Now it's bottled at 53.1% ABV. There are only 180 bottles available but they do come at a cost, and that's a hefty £690. This whisky was hand-selected by Middleton Master Blender Brian Nation in collaboration with Pat Blake, who is the owner of one of Northern Ireland's most iconic bars, and that's who this whisky has been exclusively bottled for. Now that bar is Blake's of the Hollow in Enniskillen. It dates back to the Victorian era, uh, actually back to 1887 and let me tell you those two guys they have chosen well so let's get into it and see what it's all about. Right off on the nose are vanilla and oak. It's rich. It's like a vanilla essence. There's richness and it blends. It really does blend seamlessly into mixed fruits. And there's also a hint of marzipan there too. I don't really like marzipan, but this is all very complimentary, and that marzipan note doesn't really have any negative impact for me. Now, I just love that toasty oak, the vanilla aroma that hangs around. If I didn't want to taste it so much, I'd be quite happy to sit here for a while yet and just enjoy those beautiful aromas. So let's give it a whirl in the palate. Toasty oak, vanilla, rich mouth coating vanilla, and then a bit of wood char comes in, and you know it leaves a really nice powdery, flavoursome coating on the palate. Toffee comes in, chocolate, and that's a nice blend, and it gives a. It does give a hint of the high ABV at 53.1% but it's not any alcohol burn there, it's, it's full bodied, it's nice heat that blends perfectly with the toffee and chocolate notes. Now rich dark fruits come into the mix and those initial toasty oak, vanilla, toffee and chocolate notes are still all there and they're all lingering nicely. Just simmering with that nice heat of the 53.1% ABV. Now overall, this is just a stunning whiskey. It's absolutely stunning. This really is one of the best I've ever had. Now sadly there are only 180 bottles available. They're exclusive to Blakes of the Hollow. And sadly it does cost a whooping £690. But I'll tell you what. If I had that kind of money to throw about, I'd snap a bottle up, just like that. That's how good it is, it really is. It is sublime. 
it's divine. Of all the whiskies I've ever had, I can't really put my finger on any that I would say is better than this. You know, and what's more, if I did have a bottle of this, I wouldn't keep it to myself either because it's too good to keep to yourself. Whiskey this good is for sharing with friends and friends who truly appreciate the water of life at its finest and this really is whiskey at its finest. Now, I was invited to the launch of this event last month but unfortunately due to circumstances beyond my control I wasn't able to make it and that really made Al a very unhappy chappy. However, thanks to the amazing generosity of Irish distillers and particularly their ambassador, the one and only Joe McGowan, I was sent this sample for a review along with this lovely uh, Middleton glass that you can see up here. So, Irish distillers, Middleton, Joe, I raise my glass to you for your generosity. But not just for that, but also for producing another stunning whiskey, Sláinte. Now before I wind up this review, if you're ever over in this neck of the woods, check out Blakes of the Hollow. They have a fine selection of whiskey and their cafe, Merlot, which is associated to it, serves up great food and wine with quality service. And I know this for real because I was there just over a year ago with good friends and had an absolutely brilliant night. So if you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell to stay up to date with all things Whiskey Straight. And also comment to let me know what your favorite Irish whiskey is. I'd also be interested to know your thoughts in general on Irish whiskey. What do you like about it? Is there something you don't like about it? Is there something that you'd like to see that's not there at the moment? So thanks for watching folks and until the next time, stay safe and keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Slaunch up.